The Maya had the most extensive writing in the New World. They had detailed knowledge of astronomy, great cities, wonderful monuments and art. And there were lots of them. There may, or may have been as many as 50 million Maya. But by the time Cortes, the Spanish conquistador, marched through the Yucatan Peninsula, he passed within a few miles of these abandoned cities covered by jungle without even knowing that there were cities there because there were no people. And in the Maya crash, which happened between about 800 and 910 A.D., maybe as many as 90% of the Maya died or scattered, and all of the kings were overthrown and the cities were abandoned. They disappeared partly through inadvertent environmental damage of their own making, particularly chopping down forests on which they depended for plaster and fuel. And then as there were more and more people fighting over less and less land, naturally the fighting got more intense. And finally, this combination of overpopulation for too few resources came at a time of a severe drought. And so within a century or so, Maya society collapsed and the Maya heartland had been virtually emptied of people. They could have avoided extinction by doing some of the obvious things, limiting their population growth, not cutting down all their trees, getting into a political union rather than fighting each other regularly. It would have been obvious to them that the hillsides were getting deforested and that that their buildings at the bottom of the hills were getting covered up with nine feet of sediment. My UCLA students really bored home with that question, why on earth didn't these past societies see what they were doing? But then I reflect that if there are still people around 70 years from now, they'll look back at the United States in 2005 and they too will say, weren't they thinking about their water problems and global warming and toxic waste? How could they have been so blind?